Hello and welcome to our new YouTube tutorial. In this video we're going to be building a bicycle with HTML and CSS. As you can see we have here a typical bicycle. It is moving, I mean the wheels and the pedals are rotating using CSS animations. All the parts are created using HTML so we don't use here any of the images. Alright, let's go ahead and start to build the project. I have created a new folder on the desktop called Bicycle, which right now is empty. Let's open it in VS Code and create our working files for HTML and CSS. Then open the index.html file and create a basic HTML document. For that we have to place here an exclamation mark and then hit tab or enter. So first of all, I'm going to change the title. It is going to be Bicycle. And then let's link the CSS file, open link tag and specify here the name of the CSS file. Finally, I'm going to run the project to the browser using Live Server. And then place the editor and the browser like so. Ok, so we are ready to start to create the project. I'm going to start with the HTML markup. Let's open the div tag with the class bicycle. It will include all the different parts of the bicycle. Let's start with the front wheel, open div tag. This element will have two different classes, one for the common styles and the next one for the individual styles. We need wheel and front wheel. Also, we'll have back wheel, so let's duplicate this line of code and change the class name. Next comes the front fork. This element will include tube. Next, we'll have handlebars, then crossbar. After that, we'll have frames, I mean frame 1 and frame 2. The next part is going to be seat tube which will include another development seat. Then we'll have crank, then chain, pedals and back fork. Okay, so that's it. All the parts are created and now we have to start to style them. First of all, let's create some reset and default styles. I'm going to select every element using an asterisk. Let's get rid of default margin and padding. I'm going to make both properties zero. And also I'm going to set box sizing to border box. Throughout this project we will use RAM as the measurement unit. By default one RAM equals 16 pixels and I want to convert one RAM into 10 pixels. For that we have to decrease the font size of the HTML element. Let's set it to 62.5%. Ok, let's move on and start to work on the body element. I'm going to define its width and height. The width is going to be 100%. As for the height I'm going to make it 100% of the view port. Next, I'm going to customize the bicycle. Let's define its width and height. The width is going to be 85 RAM. Then the height will be 60 RAM. And also I'm going to change the background color. Let's use here some temporary color. C, C, C. OK. So now I'm going to center the bicycle and page. For that let's use CSS grid. We need to assign to the body element display grid and place items center. Alright, so the bicycle is centered and now I'm going to start to customize the different parts of the bicycle. Let's go ahead and start with the wheels. Let's define width it's going to be 30 RAM. Then 
I'm going to set height to the same value and therefore I'm going to use one of the properties called aspect ratio and we have to set it to 1 so in this case if we increase or decrease the width then the height will be increased or decreased automatically okay let's change the background color make it black and also I'm going to make the element rounded using border radius 50% next I'm going to take care of the position actually we need to position all the parts individually I mean we need to position absolute for every element inside the bicycle therefore let's select every development and assign to them position absolute besides that we have to position elements according to the bicycle I mean the parent element so let's assign to it position relative alright next let's define a bottom position for the wheels I'm going to set it to 0 then I'm going to define the border let's set the width make it 0.5 RAM the border is going to be dashed and also let's use black color as you can see the border is not visible the black color covers it and in order to fix that we need to use one of the properties called background clip with a value content box all right that's it about the wheel right now next we need to create this gray part inside the wheel and we will do that using an after pseudo element so let's select wheel with the after pseudo element first of all I'm going to define the contents it's going to be empty then let's set width to 24 RAM again I'm going to use aspect ratio with the value 1 then use some temporary background color let's say red and also set position to absolute next I'm going to make the element rounded using border radius 50% and also I'm going to place it in the center of the wheel for that we can use CSS grid I mean display grid and place item center alright after that let's add a border to the after pseudo element the width is going to be 9.5 RAM and the border is going to be solid and also let's use here color DDD as you can see the border made the element larger and in order to fix that we have to use box sizing border box actually we have already defined this property in the default styles but it is not applied to pseudo elements so we need to use it again okay finally I'm going to get rid of this red background color okay so now both wheels are placed together and I'm going to move the back wheel to the right side so let's select back wheel and set its right position to zero also I'm going to get rid of background color from the bicycle alright next I'm going to style the front fork first of all let's define width and height the width is going to be 3 RAM as for the height I'm going to make it 17 RAM and then change the background color make it black let's define the position of the elements let's set bottom property to 15 RAM as for the left position it's going to be 16.5 RAM okay so after that we need to rotate the fork we need to rotate it according to the Z direction so we need transform rotate Z with the value 20 degrees actually the fork is rotated but that's not what we want it is rotated from the center because the origin of the transformation is set to center by default we need to change transform origin and we have to make it left bottom all right let's go ahead and take a look at the finished project as you can see the fork has a little additional part down below I'm going to create this part using before pseudo element 
So let's select front fork, followed by the before seed element. First of all, let's define content, make it empty. Then I'm going to define width and height. Let's set width to 2 RAM. The height is going to be 5 RAM. Also, I'm going to use here some temporary background color. Let's use again red. And then set position to absolute. So here we have the element. We have to change its position. Let's set bottom property to 0. And then let's define left position. Make it 0.5 RAM. Alright, finally we need to rotate the elements and also we have to move it a little bit to the left side. Let's use transform, then rotate Z 30 degrees and also we have to use translate X function with the value minus 1 RAM. Okay, finally let's change the background color, make it black. The next part that we're going to customize is going to be a tube. Let's select it and define its width and height. The width is going to be 2 RAM. As for the height, let's make it 12 RAM. Change the background color, make it black. And then define left and top properties. The left position is going to be 0.5 RAM. As for the top position, I'm going to make it minus 12 RAM. So, like the front fork, the tube will have a little additional part as well. I mean this part here. So let's create it using before pseudo element. Let's select tube followed by the before pseudo element. First of all, define the content, make it empty. Then I'm going to set width and height, both of them to 3 RAM. Change the background color, make it black. Then I'm going to change the position of the element. Let's set position to absolute and then use left and top properties. The left position is going to be minus 0.5 RAM. As for the top position, I'm going to make it 0.5 RAM. All right, that's it about the tube. Let's move on and customize the next part of the bicycle, which will be the handlebars. First of all, I'm going to define width and height. Let's set width to 8 RAM. Then the height is going to be 2 RAM. Let's Change the background color, use again black color. And then I'm going to define the top and left positions. The top property is going to be 18 RAM. As for the left position, I'm going to make it 19 RAM. Okay, next let's rotate the element. Use transform, rotate Z function with the value 15 degrees. Alright, let's take a look at the finished project. As you can see, the handlebars have some additional parts. So I'm going to use again before and after studio elements. Let's select handlebars, followed by the before studio element. I'm going to define the content. Let's make it empty. Then I'm going to set width to 4 RAM. We need the same height, so I'm going to use again aspect ratio with the value 1. Then change the background color, make it black. Next, let's define position, make it absolute. And then I'm going to change the position of the elements and also make it rounded. Let's set top property to minus 1 RAM. Then the left position is going to be minus 1 RAM. And also we need here border radius with the value 50%. Alright, that's it about the before pseudo element. Let's take care of the second part. I'm going to select handlebars followed by the after pseudo element. Let's make the content empty. Then I'm going to define width and height. The width is going to be 30 RAM. Then the height is going to be 2 RAM. Let's change the background color, make it black. And also we need to set position to absolute. Next let's define left position and make it minus 15.5 RAM. After that I'm going to rotate the element and also we need to make it slightly rounded. So let's use transform, rotate Y. In this case we need to rotate the element according to the Y axis. The value is going to be minus 70 degrees. 
and also I'm going to use border radius to run. All right, so the only thing that we have to do regarding the handlebars is to rotate the after seed element in a 3D space. And for that, I'm going to use one of the properties called perspective. It allows us to create the 3D environment. Let's set this property to 50 RAM. So as you can see, that's it about the handlebars. Next, I'm going to take care of the crossbar. Let's select this element and first of all, define width and height. I'm going to set width to 27 RAM. Then the height is going to be 3.5 RAM. Also change the background color, make it black. Then we need to define top and left properties. The top position is going to be 22 RAM. As for the left position, I'm going to make it 26 RAM. After that, we need to rotate the element. Let's use transform, rotate Z with the value 20 degrees. So again, the element is rotated from the center and we have to change the transform origin. In this case, we have to make it left top. Okay, finally, let's change the shape of the element. It should be rounded on the right side. So I'm going to use border radius. The values will be the following. We need 0, 50%, 50%, and again 0. All right, so with the crossbar, we are done. And next, we need to take care of the frames. Let's select the frame 1 and define width and height. The width is going to be 32 RAM. Then I'm going to make height 3.5 RAM. Change the background color, make it black. And also I'm going to define the positions. The top property is going to be 25 RAM. As for the left position, let's make it 26 RAM. Next I'm going to rotate the element. Let's use transform, rotate Z. And the value is going to be 45 degrees. So again, we need to change the origin of the transformation. So let's use transform origin and make it left top. Finally, let's change the shape of the element. Use again border radius with the value 0, 50%, 50%, and again 0. Alright, so that's it about the first frame. Let's move on and customize the second one. Select frame 2 and again define width and height. In this case, the width is going to be 25 RAM. Then the height will be 2 RAM. Let's change the background color, make it black. And then I'm going to define top and left positions. The top property is going to be 44 RAM. As for the left position, I'm going to make it 45 RAM. So, as you can see, the part of the element is not visible, it is placed behind the wheel. So, let's go ahead and fix that using the Z index property. I'm going to set it to some higher value than 0, let's say 10. Alright, let's move on and take care of the next part, which is going to be a seat tube. Let's define width and height. The width is going to be 3 RAM. Then I'm going to make height 18.5 RAM. Let's change the background color, make it black. And also I'm going to change the positions of the element. The top property is going to be 30 RAM. Then we need left position. It's going to be 47 RAM. And also I'm going to rotate the element. Let's use transform, rotate Z with value 15 degrees. Okay, so that's it about the seed tube. If we take a look at the finished project, you will see that seed tube has two additional parts. So again, I'm going to use before and after pseudo elements. Let's select seed tube followed by the before pseudo element. First of all, let's define content, make it empty. 
then I'm going to define the width it's going to be 2 RAM then we need height which will be 11 RAM let's change the position make it absolute then I'm going to set background color to black and then let's define top and left positions the top property is going to be minus 11 RAM as for the left position I'm going to make it 0.5 RAM ok so that's it about the first part let's move on and take care of the second one actually I'm going to duplicate this code let's change before into after then I'm going to change the width it's going to be 2.5 RAM the height is going to be 1.5 RAM we need here background color to be black let's change top and left positions the top position is going to be minus 3 RAM as for the left position I'm going to make it 0.25 RAM alright let's move on and customize the seat let's define width and height I'm going to make width 12 RAM then the height is going to be 3 RAM also change the background color make it black then we need to change the top and left properties the top position is going to be minus 12 RAM then the left position will be minus 6 RAM next I'm going to rotate the seat let's use transform rotate Z with the value minus 12 degrees and also we need to change the shape of the seat let's use border radius with the values 20% then 1 RAM twice and 80% alright that's it about the seat next I'm going to take care of the back fork let's define width and height I'm going to make width 2 RAM then the height is going to be 25 RAM let's change the background color make it black also we need to change the left and top positions the left position is going to be 60 RAM then the top property is going to be 26 RAM and also we need to rotate the element let's use transform rotate Z with the value minus 55 degrees so as you can see the part of the back fork is not visible it is placed behind the wheel so we need to use again the Z index property let's set it to 10 ok so as you can see the most part of the bicycle is built next we need to take care of the crank let's define width and height I'm going to set both properties to 10 RAM then change the background color make it black also we need to make the element rounded using border radius 50% and then let's change the position of the crank let's define top and left properties the top position is going to be 40 RAM as for the left position I'm going to make it 40 RAM as well next let's add the border to the crank the width is going to be 0.3 RAM the border will be dashed and also define the color make it black so again as you can see the background color covers the border so we need to use again background clip with value content box alright that's it about the crank let's move on and take care of the pedals select this element define width and height the width is going to be 1.5 RAM then the height will be 17 RAM let's change the background color make it black and also change the position of the element we need to use top and left properties the top position is going to be 37 RAM as for the left position I'm going to make it 44 RAM ok next let's rotate the element and also I'm going to make it slightly rounded 
let's use transform rotate Z with a value minus 12 degrees and also we need border radius 0.5 RAM alright so as you can see from the finished project we need to add here the actual paddles I mean those two parts and again let's use before and after studio elements both elements will have some common styles so I'm going to select both of them together let's define content make it empty then we need to define width and height the width is going to be 5 RAM then the height will be 1.7 RAM change the background color make it black also we need to set position to absolute and then let's define a left position it's going to be minus 1.8 RAM and lastly I'm going to make the elements rounded use border radius with a value 0.3 RAM ok so right now both elements are placed together so we need to define the positions separately let's select paddles before and define top position make it 0.2 RAM as for the paddles after we need to set bottom property to 0.2 RAM alright that's it with the paddles we are done and the last part that we need to customize is a chain let's define width and height the width is going to be 31.5 RAM then the height will be 8.5 RAM also we need border let's make it 0.5 RAM solid and black and then define the position of the chain the top position is going to be 41 RAM as for the left position I'm going to make it 40.5 RAM ok so next we need to make the chain rounded so let's use border radius with the values 5 RAM 50% 50% and again 5 RAM finally we need to make the entire chain visible because right now it is partially hidden so let's use again the index with the value 10 alright so finally we have finished building the bicycle and now we have to take care of the animations let's go ahead and start with the wheels we need to rotate them by 360 degrees let's create scissors keyframes I'm going to call it bicycle anim actually we will need the same keyframes for all the parts that will move so in this case we will have two steps at 0% we need to define transform property with the rotate z function and the value is going to be 0 and at 100% we need to rotate the element by minus 360 degrees let's go ahead and run the animation we need here the name of the keyframes bicycle anim then the duration is going to be 5 seconds the animation should run infinitely and also it's going to be linear alright so as you can see the wheels are rotating and now we have to make the crank and the pedals work actually as I said already we will need the same keyframes so we just need to define the animation property the only thing that we need to change here is duration it's going to be 10 seconds for both elements I mean the crank and the pedals so as you can see the crank and the pedals are rotating and the only thing that we have to do is to run the animation for the before and after seed elements but in this case they should be rotated in the opposite directions and for that we need to add here one additional value reverse alright so we have finished working on this project I hope it was interesting and helpful 
If you like this video, then please thumbs up, comment below, share it, subscribe to our channel and click the bell to get notified on coming tutorials. See you next time.